So guys, in the current scenario, Pudding is in the hands of the Blackbeard Pirates. While fans may hope for Sanji to swoop in and rescue her, the reality of the story's progression makes that highly unlikely, yet we still manage to imagine it. The Straw Hat Pirates are currently focused on reaching Elba, with several key events still unfolding. It seems unlikely that Oda would divert attention with a rescue arc of this magnitude for the Straw Hats. However, there is another unexpected savior who could potentially come to Pudding's aid, none other than Lord Buggy. Now, hold on a second. It may seem surprising, but there's more to this theory, so don't skip the video and make sure to watch until the end. And if you have theories, tell us in the comment section. We will consider them and give you a shout out for any amazing theories you share. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's get to the main topic. This theory explores the potential formation of an alliance between the remnants of the Big Mom Pirates and the Cross Guild. Though Big Mom may have met her end, her pirate crew, led by Katakuri, is still a formidable force. On the other hand, the Cross Guild is a rising power, with Boogie, Mihawk, and Crocodile at the helm. What if these two groups join forces, finding common ground in their objectives? I'm saying this because of Katakuri's need to safeguard Pudding, and Buggy's need for someone to decipher the Pone Glyphs in order to reach Laugh Tail. This combination creates a perfect scenario for cooperation. If Pudding awakens her third eye, enabling her to read the Pone Glyphs, this alliance becomes even more beneficial. For Buggy, this would be an invaluable asset in his quest to reach the final island and become Pirate King, turning his comedic ambitions into a legitimate threat. I know some people still hate the idea of Boogie becoming Pirate King. Now imagine the military power this alliance would hold. Katakuri, Mihawk, and Crocodile alone form an unbeatable trio, but with the remnants of the Big Mom Pirates and the Cross Guild's influence combined, they could create an army even Admiral Kuzan might struggle to fend off. The potential for such a coalition of forces could alter the balance of power in the New World. With the addition of Pudding's awakening and her ability to read the Road Pong lifts, Buggy would gain a key advantage over Luffy, Blackbeard, and the other Yonko in the race to Laugh Tail. If the theory of Doflamingo joining the Cross Guild becomes true, it would elevate their power to unprecedented levels. Doflamingo, a master strategist and former Shishibuki Kai, could orchestrate elaborate plans, turning the tide of battle in their favor. His underworld connections and intelligence gathering capabilities would make the Cross Guild nearly untouchable. In this scenario, Blackbeard would no longer have a monopoly on Pudding's ability to read the Pony Glyphs, and he would be forced to contend with the combined might of the Cross Guild and the Big Mom Pirates. This would also create an unpredictable wildcard in the race for the One Piece. Doflamingo's inclusion in the Cross Guild is highly reasonable, especially since he thrives in environments where power and chaos reign. If he were to join forces with Mihawk, Crocodile, and Buggy, the Cross Guild could evolve into one of the most formidable factions in the world. Expanding this crew further to include characters like Katakuri, Cracker, Oven, Smoothie, and Mr. One would indeed make them stronger than the Straw Hats in terms of raw strength and military force. These figures bring battle-hardened experience and specialized abilities that would give them an advantage in many situations. However, another scenario seems possible. If we consider that Boogie might possess hidden knowledge or connections from his time on Roger's ship, it could explain his influence in the Cross Guild, despite his comedic persona. If Boogie knows more than he's letting on, particularly about the location of Laugh Tale, it raises questions about why he would seek out the Pawn Glyphs now. One theory could be that Boogie never reached Laugh Tale with the rest of Roger's crew due to his illness, leaving him without first-hand knowledge. So, why does Boogie need knowledge of the Pawn Glyphs when he was on Roger's ship? Even though he couldn't go to Laugh Tale, he was still on the ship, like Shanks. Doesn't he know where Laugh Tail is? That said, being on Roger's ship for so long, Buggy could have gathered enough clues to piece together information about the Road Pong Lips or even about the One Piece. But the situation with Blackbeard remains a key obstacle. If Pudding, with her ability to unlock the secrets of the Pone Lifts, is taken by the Cross Guild or any other faction, Blackbeard's crew could be in serious jeopardy. One theory is that Pudding's capture could destabilize Blackbeard's plans entirely, leading to a breakdown in his alliances. Blackbeard has always been one to manipulate events to his advantage, but losing Pudding could force him into a position where his quest for power unravels. This could result in Blackbeard's crew disbanding, his death, or his inability to participate in the final battles. However, since Blackbeard is one of the main villains, the chances of him being left out of a full-on battle are slim. Perhaps someone will secretly infiltrate and rescue Pudding. This could set the stage for an internal betrayal or even a surprise attack by an unexpected ally of the Straw Hats, and I mean a lot here with Sanji. However, there's also a strong possibility that it could be Bogard, who secretly infiltrates Blackbeard's stronghold to save Pudding. 
This could be a game-changing moment. As Garp's trusted right-hand man, Bogard has the skills and experience to pull off a covert mission, especially with his background in stealth operations. If Bogard were to free Garp, during that time he could find Pudding and make her an ally to save Garp. This could prevent Blackbeard from deciphering the Poen glyphs, ensuring he remains a dangerous player in the final battle. So, there are only three of them who could try to save Pudding. If you know of anyone else, let us know in the comments. Ultimately, if the Cross Guild continues to expand with members like Doflamingo, Katakuri, and Boogie, their rise to power could even eclipse the Yonko. The video ends here, but I'd love to hear your opinions, so make sure to let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. We'll meet again with another amazing video. Until then, goodbye.